안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Hi. Nami, and Michael is here again because he wants to talk about something, but I don't know yet what we're going to talk about in this video. Yes. So I did a guilt pleasure buy purchase. Okay, so did I. You did? Probably. Okay. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> you have to guess what it is, though. I got it from a drug mart. Ah, uh, pina colada. That's what you bought. I bought it for you. <laughs> it was, I'll give you one more hint, $16. It's close to the checkout. Oh, did you buy BTS magazines? Very close. I bought a magazine, The Science of Marriage. You know, I... I... How to stay married? Is this a sign? Well, I don't buy magazines. I think this is like the first magazine I ever bought. I thought it was very interesting and there's a lot of things we can talk about. So, we've been married for five years. Uh huh. But why did we have to get married? Like, wasn't there also an option not to marry but to still be together? No. Why not? Because it's so important. Because we both believe it's important to make a public... A public that display that, hey... Of commitment. Of commitment. Yes. So of course you got pregnant, we got married a, a couple months after. For some time, research has been suggesting that if people get married after 26, have degrees, haven't had kids yet, or got pregnant, and are gainfully employed, they tend to stay married. But for us, we were both under 26. You were 17, I was yeah. 22. We had kids. We had kids, you were pregnant, we did not have degrees, and we were not gainfully employed. Yeah, so we're kind of on the... Statistically, we are doomed to failure. Yes. But at the same time, if individuals form romantic partnerships with others in the same values and background, it's easier to stay married. In a sense, it's like a divide yeah, of the yeah, two. Yeah, 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 yeah. It can be really hot and really cold. We match yeah. in ways and in ways. Social Our circumstances. Circumstances yeah. and situation makes are it really us. difficult. Yeah. Choosing to stay when you can leave is the new shame. Ah! Blood. Choosing to stay when you can leave is the new shame. Is that true? Ah, yes, it's so true. What's your take on that? You know, it's so true. Leaving is so easy to do. You know, yes, yeah. it's, it's a desirable in a way too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you like you? Why like are you leaving in this not relationship? They don't deserve you. Exactly. And, yeah. so it's so easy to unsubscribe or, in a sense, divorce. Yeah. And just leave. Yeah. The world makes it easy. That's what I mean. But Maybe. it's not that simple. Of course it's not that simple. Maybe socially it's more accepted in the Western context, but in East Asian or Korean context, it's totally that's not accepted. opposite. Yeah. So in Korea, divorce is very frowned upon. Mm. But what many people do is the husband stays in Korea and works full time. The wife they, they and the wanna, kids usually say, yeah. you know, go to this other country, go overseas, go abroad and study there and raise the kids there. And that way there is a separation, but no separation. Yeah. But divorce is extremely frowned upon. Whereas here, it's... Mm. It's frowned upon to stay together in that kind of situation. Yeah. Just divorce. Why are you still yeah. in this yeah, yeah, rut yeah. on yourself? What are you doing? You know, he doesn't deserve you. Yeah. That's funny how these things kind of shift. I wouldn't be surprised if it shifts again in the next generation. Yeah, that's true. In the other way. Yeah, and then yeah. people start saying, Why are you leaving? Like, do your yeah, best. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same old things happening to, happening new, to new people. Yeah. It's a recycling of the mm. same events. Another comment that I found really interesting is that in later marriage, mm. our relationship will become very much like it was during courtship. I feel like it's always been. I feel like our relationship hasn't really changed that much. The only yeah. thing that has changed is our ability to communicate, and which has gotten better. Our hobbies have changed. Our hobbies have changed. The essence of our relationship, I feel like, is still has always been the same in terms of our dynamic values. I think we've definitely gotten closer in terms of relying on each other and trusting each other. But the degree of amount of investment in work or hardships has always been the same. Yeah. It's always a working process. Yeah, 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 yeah. I find it a bit difficult these days though because of two kids. Yeah. Speaking of kids, mm -hmm. the biggest disincentive to divorce. Yes, is kids. However, may be the same as one of the biggest drivers of divorce. Oh. One of the biggest factors that make you not discourage you, you yeah. from divorce is also one of the major factors that encourage you to divorce. Okay. When was the last time you thought about divorce? Not seriously. Yeah, not seriously. But like you think of it like, I'm so angry at this point, I just say let's divorce. Or like, 
Let's the bars. I just say that to hurt you. <laughs> and it works. I succeeded. I, oh. Oh. When we do get into conflict, sometimes we don't. Neither of us want to be the first one to either acknowledge. We're very uh, stubborn, both of us. That stubbornness brews a perfect storm environment for contempt. Yes, and resentment. And resentment. Mm. And that is the one thing that you want to avoid at all costs. Contentment destroys vulnerability. Yes. But vulnerability is the prerequisite for intimacy. And yes. And what we want is intimacy. Without yes. intimacy, commitment is a grind. Yes. And in a marriage relationship, it's all about commitment. Marriage spells commitment. Yeah. But in the commitment, it also leads to freedom. So that's precisely why in Ephesians, husbands are called to love their wives as Christ loved the church. Because yeah. Jesus, because what Jesus, he just looked cry at the cross. Him? Yeah, look at it. He was spat on, he was abused, he was murdered, killed. So honestly, Nami, like I can't do it. So I need God's help. Yeah. Yeah. I think you do too. Yeah. The most successful couples begin to embrace one another's interests. Do we embrace each other's interests, and how are we embracing them? You know, are we? truly embracing it but what does it mean to ex embrace it and do i have to express it in a certain way for you to understand that i'm like embracing it I is embrace isn't just acknowledging or is it? it could it be encouraging like do it more is it affirming it that's great for you or is it like all in i'll embrace it with you you start dancing let me dance with you you know like you start skydiving i'm gonna skydive with you but <laughs> well, what is your interest i know all of mine of recent but what is yours I love reading. reading. I love studying. Yeah. Relaxing, traveling, and doing nothing. How about doing the dishes and cleaning the house? Well, that is therapeutic in a sense, but it's still work. Yeah. Tori Zua asks, since you've been married, what is a hardship that took a very long time to overcome? I think all difficult hardships are always being overcome. Hmm. Some things take a year. For example, is issues related to like emo emotional infidelity, mm -hmm. physical infidelity. Mm -hmm. For us, things of that degree would take like a year, like, mm. a, like three, four months to kind of talk about mm -hmm. and discuss and, you know, what happened, break mm -hmm. it down, and mm -hmm. then another six months to really heal. Mm. Uh, and I then think... every time something else comes up, all the old ones related to that would come up too. Right. So it takes like more. CSIM asks, are you feeling in love with each other as much as the first day? I think every day is an up and down, mm -hmm. but overall, I think it grows because of how well you know each other and how... I think that it also depends on how well you're communicating and how mm -hmm. well you are staying in tune with each other. Yes. How well do you know each other? Yeah. But overall, I think <clears throat> that does grow with little ups and downs. So that's it for this quick random discussion i hmm. uh, hope you enjoyed it if you'd like to see more of this type of content we do have a lot of these types of talks and discussions on our family channel which you can find by clicking that small little i until next time bye today's feature comment is from hanan salah you look like pocahontas thank you for your comment hanan fun fact i used to dress up every year in the same dress it was like just a cream dress that my mom cut off an arm of and sewed for me every year i was pocahontas because we couldn't afford costumes and everyone said i look like pocahontas because my face is kind of similar with like kind of a jaw and then like kind of small eyes and then kind of long black hair and kind of tan skin when i was growing up i was really tan because i played every day in the sun do you have like childhood costumes that you always wore the same of or were you the type of child who wore a different costume every year or were you the type of child who didn't go trick-or-treating and didn't celebrate that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that bell if you did to become part of our nacho fam You'll also be notified right when videos come out. That's usually the time that we do take to reply to your comments. I do post every day on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat as well. So I'll check you out on those platforms if they are platforms that you use. And I'll see you next time.